pins. PBA Commissioner Mark Gerbrick enjoying the nice weather and the great bowling here at the Villages. Done a tremendous job. As you see the scoreboard here, uh, Workman leads by 17 Stuss up, and boy, Stuss has had three heart surgeries, two of which were major. And this is, a, this is a major shot right here, almost a must. Does not trip out the four pin, remains 17 pins behind. Boy, it's tough too, Marshall. You lead a tournament, and you still have to bowl one more game and win it to win the tournament. But well, uh, that's the way. That's the, that's the way we market our product, and these these boys they understand. Television certainly important. Making those spares. Stuss picks up the spare. Roger Workman leads by 17. As a Villages resident, you have free lifetime membership in our country clubs. Elegant surroundings, exquisite dining, and superb views of the Villages. Golf courses are yours in the Villages. Welcome back. While you're away, Roger Workman, a couple of clutch strikes. Gene Stuss, a strike and a spare. And Workman really taking command of the match. Here you see the first of the strikes as Workman just powers the ball right dead flush in the pocket. Now up on lane one, looks like kind of a carbon copy of the one he just threw. Roger Workman really making a statement in the eighth frame with quite a commanding lead over Gene Stuss. Trying to make it six in a row. Right there and he's got another one. Oh my. Now well, the confidence brimming. Take a look at some other finishers. Dave Bernhard finishing in 21st place, showing well, but having trouble on the last day of match play. And finishing in 24th place, Ron Winger, former Southern California Player of the Year. Well, close to getting keys to a new home, Roger Workman. Uh, with a 47-pin lead, looking for 57. With a strike here, you can just about give him the house. Making great shots, coming a little bit high, getting a good break. And I think he just realized exactly what he's done. Boy, an impressive performance this afternoon from Roger Workman. Gene Stuss led the tournament, the final four rounds. Sets it in there for a strike. You know, we saw a lot today of, of players who were able to strike on one lane and had problems with the other. Dave Davis. Matt Buxton had the same problem, and now for Gene Stuss, looks great on the right-hand lane, just can't get it done on the left-hand lane. And it was Workman able to hit both of the lanes, for the most part. Now the down and in line, once again, proves out to be great for the television lights. Stuss, Stuss finally, Stuss finally gets a, gets a strike on the left-hand lane. Oh, I think when I met television lights, I, this, I met the sun, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the lighting director has done a wonderful, wonderful job. <laughs> Kept things warm and sunny all day. Super. <laughs> Chuck Pierce, our statistician. Oh, let's start the game over. <laughs> so Roger Workman just has to finish it out here, Marshall. Now Stuss can shoot 209 Workman right now. Uh, he's he just needs to get up the line, <laughs> throw the shot, and come back and give us a great big $120,000 smile. I think maybe next year they can also uh, award a car that we can drive right over to your new house. <laughs> just a thought. All right, Gene Stuss comes up with the last four strikes, 209. Roger Workman. Well, it's just a formality. Just stay behind the foul line and tally a few pins here. And does that, no problem. Well, that's enough for him. $20,000 for the first place and the keys to a brand new home. Certainly got to be exciting, as you see Gene Stuss with second place of $11,000. That is some consolation, but your main man right now is Roger Workman. Well, Workman picks up the spare, and we talked about it before. As a matter of Workman getting some confidence, he did that by picking up his first win. We've watched Roger several times before he won that first title. A little bit cautious today. He went right at him, Marshall. Certainly a different player. The first title always makes it easier to get to the next one. There's a two-time champion, a major champion, 
Roger Workman. Well, just a little bit below his average. He shot 244 <laughs> in that final match. 244 to 209. Oh, what a appreciative crowd. Standing ovation for Roger Workman. Trophy and check presentation. Tracy Matthews with our with our check. She represents the ownership here at the Villages and uh, nice little spoils of victory for our champion. Come on in here, Roger. Congratulations. On behalf of the entire Villages family, we welcome you to the neighborhood and we're looking forward to being your friends. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, I'd like to uh, thank Dave Bushman, Steve Sanders, and all the people here keeping score and uh, looking after us from game to game. Thank you all, and it is a great day at the Villages. Thank you. Well, you're going to have a chance to thank Dave Bushman even more. Dave Bushman, Director of Bowling for the Villages, as he's got a little bit of a key. What, what does that key represent? Roger, congratulations. Absolutely great bowling on behalf of the Villages. This key represents a new $100,000 home here in the Villages. I'm sure my wife will uh, take note of this and... Uh, uh, Judy Sutar, I guess, has a new neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Referring to the Sutars who won last year. Now, uh, Roger, you made a few you made a few bad shots today, but every time you made a bad shot, you came right back. What what was your mindset? My mind was set on staying slow and not trying to force the ball through the heads and just let it roll off the back end, and it worked great. <laughs> well, you got a, you got a couple of good breaks, made a lot of great shots. It seems like when you did make a mistake. The ball was going just a little bit left. You weren't, you were not allowing the ball to go right. No, most of the balls I was, uh, I had a pretty good grip on. It started sweating a little bit, and uh, I don't know if the heat or the money, but anyhow, I was, I was sweating, so I was gripping the ball pretty good. And I, I tugged a couple of them left to target, but uh, one I got in trouble, one I didn't. Well, you did great. I applaud you as well. You know, you are the champion here. Hundred thousand dollar home. You got the $20,000 check. Congratulations. And Phil, back up to you.